You know, honestly, at this point, I just want Sumeru, man. Looking at the preview, holy, the preview looks so good. Dendro Traveler with that elemental reaction with Pyro and Electro and what happened to Cryo though? Like what, what really though? What what happened to Cryo? What's gonna happen if I use Gaia? But in all seriousness though, after so many banner reruns, Klee finally gets a read on herself. Although I'll probably pull for Yoimiya first and foremost though. And with all that said, this video isn't necessarily about the new version or an update and review. In fact, things I'll be mentioning in the video are probably filled with a few reasons why I haven't made any update and reviews to begin with. What is going on guys, it's Sage here, the guy that started that one Paimon meme. And although that meme was fun and all, the current state of the game, eh, it's not really all that fun. In this video, I'll try and discuss the problems and things that, in my opinion, have made the game stale even till now. Especially when this month is around the time where most players will reach AR60. And so, this will be a small two-part feedback and review for the game where, in this one, I will be discussing the problems and the next video will have a few of my suggestions for the game that I genuinely hope MiHoYo, at the very least, can consider adding into the game. Now, it's no surprise that the majority of the player base has played the game less and less due to the lack of content that's in the game. Yes, there's still the daily grinds of commissions, artifacts, and so on and so forth, but each of those things has RNG. Not to mention the fact that even daily commissions have RNG inside the RNG, which for some reason the community is okay with, is beyond me at this point. I mean, I guess calling the game lacking in content is quite unfair. They have tried to increase the amount of things you can do, like say in the Serenity pod for example, with the mini games and whatnot, then there's fishing, catching creatures around to put them in your pot, and a lot of other things. While these additions are really good, and I'm not saying that lightly since I gotta give credit where credit is due, but the game itself is very gacha heavy and the main problem stems from exactly that. If you're watching this at AR55+, you're probably thinking that the game is just an endless grind of trying to get god artifacts or just waiting on new quests and or events. Well, assuming you're not a whale who already has C6 and R5 on everything, of course. And you know what? Aside from waiting on events, I completely agree with you. The game is currently, in my opinion, an endless grind of trying to build your characters as powerful as possible by trying to get good artifacts while losing resins in the process. Probably what confuses me the most is how everyone always asks for the same thing, which are characters and resin limit increases. While those are probably good additions to the game, who am I kidding, that would help a lot. But in my honest opinion, that won't really fix the game in the long run when almost everything requires you to use resins to get the rewards. And then there's Primo Gems. So far, the version update that has given us the most Primo Gems was version 1.6, the Midsummer Island update, which gave a total of 18 fates. I counted. That's about 2,880 Primo Gems, by the way. And yes, that includes the chests, quests, events, and minigame rewards. While you could say that the Inazuma, Enkanomiya, and Chasm map updates give us more chests to hunt for Primo Gems, but these are technically permanent maps. And what if you have gotten everything at 100% already? What if you have done every single quest possible? Could you really say that you still have things to do when farming artifacts would only end up with def percent substats? I mean, personally, I don't see how using your resins to farm something hoping to get something good, but only to get slapped by def percent stats is particularly fun. And yes, arguably you can still help randoms in co-op or play with friends, but even then, when you're out of resins, what can you do? Farming up materials for cooking and whatnot isn't necessarily the main objective of the game to begin with. Yes, exploration is a big part of open world games, but because of the added exploration progress, chests don't respawn anymore like they did in the early builds of the game. Here's something to consider. One of the easiest ways for me personally to know if something is bad or not as good as it could be is to compare Genshin with their previous game, Honkai Impact. Yes, I know the two games aren't really in the same genre of games, but they are both MiHoYo games. Honkai has always had one major problem. With the game having an actual leaderboard for scores, specifically in the game mode Abyss and Memorial Arena, you are more or less required to use the newer characters or you won't really be able to make it in the leaderboard. In other words, older characters are more or less useless. I mean, if you still like the characters, they're still viable, especially if you do have them built to the max, but no one really uses them anymore. With that said, however, they have sort of fixed this with how easily you can get the newer characters. 
Because Honkai uses a fragment system, which is both good and bad, mind you, they've put a lot of powerful characters' fragments at the shop to buy with different in-game currencies and materials. And the way you get them is simply just by playing various game modes that are available. Not to mention, obtaining characters in this game is quite easy with how many currencies and materials you can use in both the supply and shops with, say, tickets you get from events or the dorm, and also the fact that the sources for crystals are, let's just say, there's a lot. See where I'm getting here? With these examples from Honkai alone, it shows three of many problems that are present in Genshin, if it's not obvious enough at this point. The shop, the lack of permanent features to grind, and most importantly, primal gem sources. Let's start with the first one. While the shop does provide ways of obtaining characters, the currency needed is obtainable from getting duplicates from wishing? I get it, the game doesn't have to, or need, to change the fragment system, that's not what I'm saying here at all. But in comparison to Honkai's shop, Genshin's shop is quite lackluster, to put it lightly. With it refreshing every 30 days, aside from the 5 plus 5 fates, it only really gives you materials that you can farm and accumulate over time, and I feel like there should be more available here. I feel like adding more characters in at once, or just putting the standard banner characters in the shop permanently without having cycles, would be one of the few options that they can do. Just, you know, one of many thoughts I could give here. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Regarding the lack of permanent features and primal gem sources, a lot of people would try and suggest making events permanent. Now, they're not entirely wrong to feel that way, and myself included, do feel like some events can be permanent. But here's the problem with that. Events are supposed to feel special, a limited time thing for you to participate in and get the limited rewards. If we just say, take Theater Mechanicus for example, to be permanent in the game, I feel like the feeling of it being fun and exciting won't really be present. I think this is also one of the reasons why I still think the 1.3 original version of the event is still the best one because the game mode itself was simple and the duration for the event was pretty much the entirety of the version update. Although, I do think that the second one in version 2.0 had the better gameplay. You know, the one with the crackshot tower being overpowered and the sus tokens. Yeah, but I digress. In my opinion, without really focusing on taking events and making them permanent, we can just look at what's available in the game and maybe multiply it. Domains, Spiral Abyss, enemy drops, hell even commissions can be improved upon if the execution is good enough. Outside of Spiral Abyss resets, dailies, achievements, and probably new world and arcan quests, for endgame players, there's just not enough sources for primal gems anymore. Honestly, without me purchasing the monthly card and the battle pass here and there, I wouldn't be able to get this many characters at C6 and I haven't even touched on the RNG side of the game yet. But for now, I think these points I mentioned are enough to help realize that the game needs some things to change. With how the game is now, the popularity, the contents, the expectations from old and newer players, I feel like they need to be able to take and consider these types of ideas to then maybe implement the game. Don't get me wrong, I still love the game and miHoYo for making these games, but recently, I've spent less and less time on Genshin than I did in, say, version 2.0. It's not like that version had anything different other than the release of Inazuma, but after exploring the map, it just finally dawned on me on how excruciating it is to get primal gems and have something to grind for. In all honesty, I just didn't want to accept the fact that the game had such a low amount of things to do other than taking care of your characters. It's as if you're not really playing an open world game. Having to constantly think about what I can do to get more primal gems every single day has taken its toll on me and I'm sure many who haven't logged into the game have felt this way to a certain extent as well. But hey, at the end of the day, these are more or less my thoughts on how the game is right now. Let me know. Is the game as fun as when you started hearing or playing the game? Do you agree with anything I said in the video? I like to interact with you all, that's why I started making these videos in the first place, so leave your thoughts in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe to not miss part 2, where I'll be discussing the features that would make the game 10 times better when Sumeru comes out. Trust me, you guys are in for a treat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching, it's been Sage, and I'll see you guys later.